Hi, it's Kim again. I just wanted to um, show you what I'm working on today. Um, I get the opportunity to um, test a few new oils that a supplier named um, Moonworks Collection, and the owner's name is Rhonda. She's super. She's a super nice lady. And um, I um, I just wanted to show you how I was going to do this um, test log that I'm, I'm working with, um, one-pound batches. So I have a four-pound log here that I normally use. And um, so I took some core plast, which is this um, plastic cardboard. I don't know if you can see the holes in it. You see that? And so they use these to make um, signs for um, garage sales and things like that. Well, anyway, I have some scrap pieces of it. I've used it before to make different dividers for my soap making. And so I um, cut the pieces to divide my four-pound log into four sections, giving me one-pound section each. And um, I was going to take, and, I, and so I took these um, cheap, one of these cheap industrial plastic bags and, um, and cut it open all the way. And um, I've heard that you can spritz it with water and it'll automatically make the plastic cling to the walls. But I didn't do that because I was already going to use this plastic um, material that they use in cake decorating. Here I go with my cake decorating tools again, but um, it's called um, an impression mat, and they use it to um, decorate and to leave the impression in fondant and in gum paste. And so these are just made out of plastic. They have some that I think would probably work better, and they're by a company called Wilton, and they're made out of actual silicone. Um, and you could not even have to worry about rubbing them with oil or anything, because when I get done doing this, before I pour my my batter in I'll rub them just a little bit with oil not sure how it'll really help it because I've heard that rubbing your your molds with oil doesn't really help but I'll I, I've never had any problems it works so anyway I just wanted to show you that what I do is I start at one end after I've laid my plastic in over the little dividers I take my impression mat material because it comes in a big sheet sometimes there it just depends on who you're buying it from but I think these were like 12 by 16, I'm not sure. And so I cut them to fit in the compartment. And then I put the bottom piece in first. And then I took and cut from the rest of it my two end pieces. And I trimmed it off and I put my two end pieces on each side. Because the way I'm going to do this is when I do unmold it, I will be cutting my, my log into, they'll probably get three bars with this one compartment. Um, you could do it this way too. It just depends on your log mold if that's what you want to do. But you could do this in a regular log. This is just what I'm showing you how I'm, I'm, I'm decorating these in this sort of way because I just want to you know, put the texture on them for something different since they are just um, test batches and I don't want to really add any additives or anything to them because I'm testing the oils to see how they perform. So anyway, um, um, I just wanted to share that with you, and I will show you what they look like once I've um, poured them, and then again, whenever I um, unmold them and get ready to cut them. The scents that I'm going to be doing are Cinnabon, Cinna, Cinnabon Cinnamon Rolls, and one called Honey Bee, which I love, because I love honey, and then there's another one that's a Vanilla Bean Noel dupe, and then, which is, a Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite vanilla. And then um, this one is Angel Type, which is, oh, it's amazing. It's a floral patchouli. It's just gorgeous. Very warm. So anyway, I will let you see it after I pour them, and then we'll see what they look like when I unmold them. Um, thanks, and have a great day. Bye.